Hey guys, welcome back to more episodes of The X-Files. We're getting close to the season uh, finale. We have two more episodes after this to go. This is episode 23. The last episode with the um, prison and the pharmaceutical company that pretty much used it as their test lab and everyone died and it was all covered up as usual it was pretty interesting i quite enjoyed it actually anyway we're just going to move straight on let's go find out what happens this time episode 23 Laura, i need to talk to you gail Ann is dead it's my fault morris i need to talk to you i beg my pardon sorry sir i thought it was to do oh, it no. What? <laughs> what? Agent Scully. Hi. Hi. This is Agent Mulder. Hi. Thank you for coming. Hello. Heard a lot about you. Patrick Newworth, age 52. He's a top executive with missing. Morley Tobacco, up from Raleigh Durham for a meeting. Morley. He arrived on an evening train. How do you know he's missing? He said a wake-up call for 6 a.m. this morning. When the operator tried to place it, there was no answer. Windows? Locked <laughs> from the inside. Good luck. six stories up, no fire escape. No way in or out of this room. Oh, is that... Ah, there we go. Oh, so there's some residual... Residual... What is it? Residual traces. The hotel claims it wasn't here before Mr. Newark checked in. That's burn mark. It's right where I'd be if I was standing here answering the door, right? He never yeah. misses a trick, yeah, does he? I wouldn't be looking at the people unless there was something to look at, would I? Because of the lack of evidence, this is still officially a missing persons case, not likely to end up on the front page of the daily paper. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Spontaneous human combustion? I have over a dozen case files. A human body is reduced to ash without any attendant burning or melting. Rapid oxidation without heat. What do we know about the victim? Margaret Wisniecki, age 66. Widowed, retired from Laramie Tobacco, where she worked production line for 36 years. M. Wise Necky, round trip to Hampton Roads, Virginia, return train dated March 17. That's the same day she disappeared. Patrick Newworth came into town by train, didn't he? Get on the phone to your young detective and tell her to get a detail down to the train station. Some guy's dead. Is he causing this? him every time he goes near a, uh, a light power source it flickers and, and dims stay away away from me yeah you... polarity magnetics closer. oh it's his Get shadow the ground, sir. now what please you don't understand yeah, it's his shadow watch oh, oh, God, no. morning all they found this morning was two more scorch marks on the pavement. Nothing else? No. Nope. <laughs> Suddenly this looks like it could be a cop killer case and I'm indirectly responsible. The prints you pulled from that light bulb. I ran it against all the hotel staff and guests, then through the national databases. No match. He was here last night. He was also probably here on March 17th and March 31st. Right here. He's always here. What's he doing? Nothing. And he's not going okay. anywhere. Why is he doing that? Probably the same reason he spends his whole afternoon in the train station. Okay, can you reframe and blow it up some more? No. Oh, actually, no, he does have one of those machines. Fair enough. something on his jacket. Right? Polarity, Polarity magnetic. magnetics. That's where the first victim worked. Dr. Chester Benton. He was my business partner. You mean he's not anymore? I don't know. I would assume not. Uh, Polarity magnetics does, or did, primarily two kinds of research. Mostly we were designing maglev applications. For Chester, that was just a way to pay the bills for the really theoretical stuff he was interested in. Which was what? Researching dark matter, quantum particles, uh, neutrinos, gluons, mesons, there you go. quarks. Subatomic particles. This is a particle accelerator. One wow. the power of the Texas Super Collider in a space the size of a Walmart. Powered by what? A couple billion megawatts. Started the countdown. When he realized he'd made a mistake, there was something that needed readjusting in the target room. I had left the room for a minute when Chester decided to go in. Oh. I didn't realize until it was too late that the door 
had locked behind him. <laughs> oh my God! As far God. as I can tell, it burned Chester's shadow right into the wall. When I looked at the monitor and saw what was happening, that Chester was trapped in here, I panicked. I cut the power, but it was too late. Whatever it is, it's connected to the person of Dr. Chester Ray Ben, maybe even part of him. Why are you listening? I videotaped Dr. Ben and kept staring at the floor and trying to figure out what he might have been looking at. Look here, there are hardly any shadows cast. What do you mean? Oh, well, that's what he's doing, Sally. Soft light. There that's is. what Dr. Benton was looking for. Looking for a shadow? No. Just leave me alone. We're federal agents, Dr. Ben. You don't understand. You're making a big mistake. Stay away from me. Don't. It'll kill you. It doesn't care who you are. But it has something to do with dark matter. It has everything to do with dark matter. My shadow isn't mine. Unzips electrons from their <laughs> orbits, reduces matter into pure energy. Damn. That's how you killed Gail Ann Lambert? Wasn't me. He didn't kill him. Gail Ann was my colleague. You have no control over it? If I could control it, do you think I would let it go around killing people? There could be nothing left to tether this thing. Excuse me. I thought it was I'm tethered to you. I have to ask you to discontinue your interrogation of the suspect. But no one seems to be able to recall inviting the FBI in on this case. Agent Mulder and I are here strictly in an unofficial capacity. We were called in as a favor. And as a favor, we just handed over the A-bomb to the Boy Scouts. I'm sure all the necessary precautions will be taken. And I'm sure that Robert no. Oppenheimer got similar reassurances from his government, the same government that Dr. Bannon is afraid of. He's being held by the Richmond police in connection with several bizarre murders. He's a physicist researching quarks, gluons, dark matter. He believes the government is out to get him. Where is he being held? At the Yale Law Psychiatric Hospital, but not for long. The next time the blood and regret could be yours. I'm not at your beck and call, Agent Mulder. Stop it with the cloak and dagger. I have nothing to gain and everything to lose by helping you. We're here to transfer Chester Ray Banton. See? I have orders he's not being transferred until tomorrow. Found a Due to the power our outage, face. there's been a change of plans. Who are you? No, don't do this. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and there goes another two. Oh, he picked up on it quick. Richmond PD had two officers outside watching the entrance. They didn't see anybody come in. According to the floor nurse, there were three men. Put yourself in his head, Scully. I think the only reason he hasn't tried to kill himself is because he's afraid his death will release the dark matter. Yeah. All that he's been trying to do since the accident is try to control this thing. And if he escaped, he's going to go to the one place where he thinks he can do that. And we got to get there first. What's this about, Chester? You're acting crazy. Talk to me. We found the dark matter, Chris. It's real. We found it. What are you talking Don't about? Don't you understand? I'm it. No, you can't go back in there, Chester. Police! I'm placing you under arrest. Oh, God's sake. I said, step against the wall. Now. She's gonna die. He's gonna step I'm sorry. Forward. Yep. Gonna stop her. <laughs> and she's gone. Chester! No matter what they say to you later, you're doing the right thing. You can do it, Chris. I can. But, he's not gonna. but I'm not. Yeah. No, Chris. Tell me you're not working for them. Wish I could, Chester. Yeah. Oh. Son of a bitch! I've got it. He's not going anywhere until you pick him up. Damn it. It's just a stain. Scully, look at this. Come on. He must have killed her and then killed himself. He couldn't have. This chamber's been sealed from the outside. Agent Mulder. I thought you had agreed not to contact me again about this. You lied to me. Yeah. About? About Chester Ray Ben. You knew who he was. And you used me to lead you to him. You seem to be mistaken about the amount of control you exercise over this arrangement. Despite my loyalty to my predecessor, 
I've never made you any promises. No. Promise me this will be our last meeting. We're finished. Yeah, don't blame me. You're choosing a dangerous time to go it alone, Agent Mulder. Can't trust you. Mulder! I didn't kill him. Nobody. The missing person report was filed this morning by Dr. Morris West. He's a physicist affiliated with Polarity Magnetics. Do they have any leads or know where he might be? They've got him. No, none. But you do. I've been wondering, what if it wasn't Banton we saw in the particle accelerator? Well, if Banton's not dead, then where is he? Oh. Dr. Davey would have been helpful to us. We'll be studying this man for a long time. Okay, that was episode 23. Um, it's the X-Files. Unusual is run of the mill for this series, but that was extremely unusual. And I hadn't even considered that at the end. When when it showed him in the park, particle accelerator and they killed the other, the other guy, I heard the sniper thing, I didn't whether it was a sniper rifle or whether it was a tranquilizer. But either way, Mr. X cannot be trusted. I don't blame Mulder for doing exactly what he's done here. And I think he was right. He already knew who this guy was. All you did was lo was you know, give him their location. Um I mean, the worst part of this is not only all the amount of people that died from it, including Scully's form, one of Scully's former students, and she feels responsible. They've got nothing out of it, which is normal. <laughs> um, you couldn't explain it to anybody. And accident and no accident they're going to use that to their advantage. I mean, that's an easy form. It, you said they're going to study him for years. That's the easiest form of creating a weapon and turning somebody into a weapon without needing them to actually be trained or lethal or have any killer instincts whatsoever. All they need to be is part of the experiment. And whether they're going to try and reverse engineer that or do anything else with it, God knows. This is why Mr. X can't be trusted. And he's just said it himself. I never said that we had any sort of agreement or I was here to help you like my predecessor. I hope that's the end of this guy because he's bad news. Totally bad news. I liked how Mulder always works it out. Even at the beginning of this episode, he's going into a crime scene armed with whatever information they have at the time, which to begin with was very little to go on. Just someone's vanished out of a hotel room. No evidence, no murder weapon, no, no signs of breaking, no signs of anything. And he starts looking around for the out of ordinary that no other trained officer or investigator would even think of. They'd be looking for signs of fingerprints of someone breaking in, someone breaking out, a murder weapon. They'd be looking into their background for motive and none of all that mattered. So Mulder just takes that, puts it in a box, moves it to one side and says, right, think out the box. What else is out of the ordinary in here? And that's what I like, his, his inquisitive mind and open mind that he has enables the two of them to be able to investigate half of these cases. Because if you handed these to a normal investigator, just like Scully's new um, police officer, she, she, it was her first case, handed it to him because the rest of them didn't want to deal with it because it made no sense. None of them are trained to even think or work in this manner. And and it's fascinating watching, watching his out of 
the box scenario mind work right um we will be back with episode 24 next if you want to watch this in full length don't forget as always it will be available over on patreon the link will be in the description and if you're watching this or as an edited version don't forget it's available not only on youtube but it's also available over on odyssey i'll also put the link down here somewhere Especially if any of these episodes get blocked at a later date, they tend to still be live over on Odyssey as it's a mirror channel. And if you're not already subscribed, we are about to be heading into season three of the X-Files. We've still got plenty more to go. I would appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you for episode 24 next, which is the penultimate episode to this season. It's 25 episodes in this season. They are long seasons. That's why it's going to take us substantial amount of time to get through this but i'm enjoying them really enjoying them okay guys see you for the next one take care Duh.